Hello guys, Romano from Geekception here and hope you're doing awesome today. Now today I'll be giving you guys a quick hands-on and first impressions of the Asus Zenfone Max Plus M1. Now I shall be giving you guys, you know, my first impressions, a quick rundown of the specifications and what I think about the device. Let's begin. <laughs> And welcome back guys now today i was present at the launch event of the zenfone max plus m1 from asus where they actually launched it in the cinema which was pretty cool talking about cool a huge shout out to asus for sponsoring this video now starting with uh, build quality and the zenfone max plus is actually less heavier than i thought and it has this nice metal build which feels nice to the touch as well. Now this is the first uh, full view Asus phone that I have seen. Basically what they've done is put a 5.7 inch device into the frame of a 5.2 inch device which is actually pretty cool. Taking a tour of the phone and thankfully there is a headphone jack here. Now there are also the usual buttons and a tri slot for two sim cards and an SD card. But for the sake of all things holy, there is a micro USB port on the Max Plus. Why Asus? Why? Moving on to the specifications, and the Max Plus comes with a MediaTek processor mated to 4GB of RAM, 32GB uh, of storage, and a 4130 mAh battery. Display-wise, we have a 5.7-inch uh, HD Plus display with a 1440x720p uh, panel right there with uh, a 79.8% screen-to-body ratio for people who care. Now, this means that the phone is actually comfortable to hold, while still having that big screen and though yes i would have preferred a higher resolution display here on the max plus i did not really notice any pixel when watching videos now this is not my final thought i would have to test it more when i get a review unit but that was what i noticed with my short time with the phone here now an interesting quirk i noticed on the max plus is that the on-screen software buttons actually look different from previous asus devices now you know. The Zenfone Max Plus is equipped with a dual cameras round back. The first is a primary 16 megapixel f2.0 camera, while the second is a wide angle 8 megapixel camera at 17 millimeter with a 120 degrees wide angle field of view. Moving on to the front, and the camera is a 16 megapixel camera with an f2.0 aperture. The camera interface here is a standard Zen UI 4 camera that comes preloaded with almost all ASUS devices in 2017, so not much has changed there. I took a few sample photos while uh, getting this quick hands on, which you can see on screen right now. What do you think about the photos? Let me know in the comments section down there below. Moving on to software, and the Zenfone Max Plus runs Android 7 Nougat with Asus's Zen UI 4 running on top. Now, it has all the usual features we've come to expect of uh, Zen UI 4 with barely any changes from any other Zen UI 4 uh, device released this year. And in my time with the, the phone, I did not notice any stutters or lags whatsoever. Now, this phone has a MediaTek processor, which I guess was put there to save on cost. And while I had no problems with performance, in fact, I even gamed a little while, you know, making this video, uh, it will definitely be interesting to see how the MediaTek processor in the Max Plus performs in more intensive games and apps. And for my overall first impressions, I would have to say that this phone feels, well, surprisingly really good to hold in the hand. Now, Asus says that this phone is its own category, so it is not actually under the Max line, hence why the model number here is M1. It has a, a biggish battery at 4130 mAh, and it also comes with a fast charger in the box, and Asus is claiming some uh, monstrous battery life, which I guess it will be up to me to test to see if that is true or not. And this phone has different versions, and there's actually one version with a 1080p display, here in Malaysia, though, we get the 720p HD Plus display, albeit we have more RAM, so there's 4 gigs of RAM as opposed to the 3 gigs of RAM on the 1080p version. Price-wise, and this is where I think the Zenfone Max Plus actually really shines. Here in Malaysia, it retails for 899 Malaysian ringgit, which I think is actually a very good price. Also, if you're in Malaysia, you can actually pre-order this phone on Lazada between the 14th to 19th of December, and you get a 200 ringgit uh, voucher from Lazada. Now, if you plan on actually going to buy it in person, you also get 200 ringgit off if you trade in your old phone. So, yes, deals, I guess. And this phone will officially be available on the 20th of December here in Malaysia. And that has been it for the first impressions and hands on video 
of the Asus Zenfone Max Plus M1. A very, very long name. A huge thank you to Asus for inviting us to the event and sponsoring these videos. You guys rock. We should be getting the M1 very, very soon. So what videos would you want me to make about the device? For me, I would want to make a camera a test. I would want to make a performance test to see how that MediaTek a processor actually handles uh, games and apps, as well as perhaps a battery life test, maybe. Yes, so those are some of my ideas. And I hope you really liked this video. Um, if, if you did, you know, you can give a big fat thumbs up and actually have Patreon. So if you really, really like the stuff I'm doing here, you can head on over to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Geekception. And you can actually support this channel with as little as $1. That is like a Coke or, or Pepsi. So yes, really, really little. If you do not like this video and there's something you absolutely hated, yes, thumbs down. And let me know what you do not like so I can improve in the future and I can make better videos. And subscribe so you do not miss future amazing, wonderful videos. And even more importantly than liking, disliking, or uh, subscribing, please make sure you take care of yourself, okay? You're an amazing person. You're awesome. And if you've not heard that today, I'm telling you today you're an amazing person, okay? Don't you dare forget that. And if you've forgotten, I'm reminding you right now. Don't forget, everybody that is alive is a winner. We all had to win to even be born into this world. So... It will be well. And I'm telling you that as much as I'm telling myself, actually. So, yes, spreading the love. Thank you for watching, actually. And thanks to my Patreons who have been supporting me since I made my video on Sunday. Thank you so much for the love and support. I really, really love and appreciate you. If you become a Patreon, you gain access to a secret Facebook group. So, yes. So, that's basically been it. I shall catch you lovely, awesome, amazing person next time. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.